Hello, everyone. This is Stephen Swan. I do instructional technology for the college. And you are here because you are wanting to become a Google certified teacher. What this is going to do is I'm going to use this as an introduction to the organization which you have been added to. So when you log in to your Blackboard, look on the left hand side over here and you will look for something that says organizations. When you click on that, your organization will be called Teacher Technology Certifications. Click on that and you'll land right here where I am right now. What I'm going to do for right now is to kind of give you a feel for what we're going to be doing. I'm going to give you a timeline for when I'm going to be doing it. And depending upon what your instructor uh, has uh, told you, I'm going to show you how you can demonstrate that you have been here and you have participated in this. Now, there's two ways of participating in something like this, and they're both called, um, well, one is called synchronous and the other is called asynchronous. And if you've ever taken an online course, you know what I mean. Synchronous means you're there at the time that the course is actually being uh, recorded. Um, and that allows you to be a part of the course. You can ask questions, uh, you can ask for clarification. Asynchronous means that when the presentation is finished, it gets turned into a video that can be delivered to you either through this organization or through an announcement, which is how I like to do it. Actually, I do it three ways. There will be a space here, which I don't have right now because I don't have a, <laughs> I don't have a video, folks, and you can't put up a thing for where your videos live until you actually have a video. So what I will be doing is right here underneath where it says Colab Ultra for online Google certification training, there'll be another link here that says recordings. So you can see them that way. Here where it says announcements, I will send out every day for the next two weeks, school weeks now, uh, a recording about a particular topic that has to do with the Google certification. The idea of this is for you to, at the end, to feel comfortable enough to take on the Google Level 1 certification teacher test. Is it hard? I don't think it's all that hard. I think it is a test that will, that you can't take lightly, um, that you have to prepare for. Now, here's the good news. And as I scroll down here for you, the good news is Google does not want you to fail this test. Google wants you to pass this test. And they will allow you three hours to take this exam. It only has 20 multiple choice questions. Some of the questions are not good questions for those of us who are interested in good exams. Um, they do things that I would say as a person who used to be in charge of a very large test in Jefferson County Public Schools, we would not have allowed. But that's what we're here for is to make sure that you understand that they're going to be asking those kinds of questions. And they do acknowledge it. Look down here. It says multiple choice questions. These are not all simple or conventional questions. Some of them ask you to give two or three answers to respond to a scenario. Some ask you to rank statements in order. That's not all that unusual. These questions test your knowledge on Google tools. Tools. This section takes about 10 to 20 minutes, and that's true. Then you have the 11 scenarios, and that's what we're going to be focused on. And the reason why we can be focused on that is, remember what I said, Google does not want you to fail these tests. So the scenarios are straight off of the test. If you can do the scenarios, in other words, if you can go through them, if you can walk through them and do them confidently, then when you sit down and take the test, you'll be fine. But here's the other thing about it, you all. First of all, notice you only have to score 8% or higher. Okay. If you fail it, you can take it again. Here's the part that just makes you go, whoa. 
The Google Level 1 certification test is an open book test. You can look at your notes. You can, look at e you can even look at another device or computer to look up how to complete the task. Get me? You can be sitting there at your computer, at your laptop, with your phone in hand or another computer. Use the Google to ask the question. When I have done this with students, we literally have sat there and Googled in the question <laughs> and it gives us the answer. You have three hours to do this in. Can, it get, can you get it done in three hours? Yes. Yes, you can. It talks about being familiar with shortcuts. We'll show you those. And it says, be familiar with how Google tools work with one another. This is really the part that will trip you up because, you know, unless you're just a Gmail fanatic and a, G and a Google calendar, they're very out of their Gmail and their Google calendar. So they, they slip that in just about every chance they can, especially in the scenarios. There are a couple of ways that you can approach this. Right here is a link that will take you to the Google Certification Training Center. You can go here and do their training, do their practice, get certified. And if I were you, uh, after we get done over the next 10 days, I'd go take a look at this. Or I'd be doing this at the same time we're doing what we're going to be doing. You will have ample abilities if you do both of these. Uh, task list, checklist, I have it up here at the top. Here are some exam uh, tips. It's 45 minutes. If you want to, if you're the kind of person who needs to see as well as read, I also recommend these. Um, he does a really nice job. He does a really nice job. And finally, I really, really recommend you get this book. Uh, it is the test. There's no two ways about it. This is the test. When I asked uh, Brandon if I could borrow parts of his book, he said, sure, it's the test and Google let me have it. So there you are. And as you can see, it's only $9 on Amazon. There's a link. So let's go back up here and show you how this is all going to work. We will start here tomorrow, Monday, and I will walk you through things you probably already know how to do because you probably already have a Google account. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go through building a Google Classroom and then taking a look at these particular topics. And at the end of that, we will then go and I will take you into scenario number one assignment. In this assignment, this is, again, I cannot emphasize this enough, straight off the test. And as you can see, it basically is looking to see if you know how to work within the Google Drive, it's looking to see if you know how to create uh, particular materials within the Google Drive, the Google Doc, the Slide, Google Sheet. And then it wants you to actually take the Google Sheet that you create, which is a spreadsheet, by the way, and it then wants you to put in some data. The thing about it is these things, these scenarios, are linked. They build upon each other. It's the worst way to design a test I've ever heard of. But because they are linked, it's really important that you pay attention to the things that you create in here. Then the next day, we'll do a little bit more. We will talk about a few more things you need to know. And then we'll do the second scenario. And so on and so on and so on until we get through all 10. I hope this gives you a sense. I hope that you will uh, join us. Uh, I'm going to try to ask some uh, friends of ours who have already taken the test if they'd be willing to come back in and uh, help us with uh, sort of giving you some heads up on the kinds of things that they did uh, when they took the test. And the last thing I'm going to ask you to do 
is if you will please leave a flip grid. Now, if you don't know what flip grids are, I'm going to show you. So you're going to log in to the Flipgrid with your Google. Let's get used to using it because that's what they use in Jefferson County now. And you're going to use this code. So if I log in with my Google account, it's going to let me do an introduction of myself by clicking on this button right here. I'm not going to do it right now because I'm not ready. <laughs> but if you will do that, just so we can all kind of know who we are that are in here doing this, um, I think it helps with us feeling like we're a part of something uh, as opposed to we're out there all on our own. And so if, if you look in here after everybody does it and you see that your friend is in here doing this as well, then you can reach them. Um, and you all can talk and visit with each other uh, virtually about uh, how you're doing in their understandings. Also, if you've never done a class like this before, right here is the Collab Ultra link that'll take you into our class if you want to join us every day at 1 p.m. I will do this every day at 1 p.m. for the next 10 school days. So that would be starting tomorrow, um, April 6, running through uh, the end of April 17th. So we will be here every day at one. You don't have to be here if you don't want to be here. But if you want to come and be a part of this, uh, so you can ask some questions directly, feel free. Otherwise, we'll be recording it and we'll be sending that out to you. Here's the last thought. And this is a really important one, and I really, really mean it. I'm gladly going to give you my SMS text number. Use it. If you get into a situation where I have said something and you're not sure about it, if you get into a situation where you want to ask a question but you're embarrassed to in front of everybody, um, if I make a mistake, text me. Let me know. The only thing I have to do is on that first text, if you will just say, hi, Steve, this is so-and-so. I'm doing the Google Classroom thing. Uh, I'm from Dr. Sheffield's class, or I'm from Dr. Thomas's class, or I'm from, get it? Just let me know where you're from uh, so and who you are. Now, it's not like I'm keeping track. It's not like I'm reporting any of this. I just like to know, most importantly, who you are. Okay? So... I hope this gets to you in time for one o'clock class tomorrow. Sorry about the lateness, uh, but I think we're going to be fine. And as I said, please remember, you have three ways of doing this. You can join us at one o'clock each day for the next 10 class days. You can do it on your own right here. Follow it all the way through. Uh, and when you get ready to take the test, unfortunately, we're going to have to ask you that you carry that burden. It's only ten dollars. Um, and when we did it um, at U uh, of L, we had some hiccups. It took us a little while to get it to work, and I think it had to do because we were going through U of L's network. If you're doing this from the, you know, from your house, you won't have any problems. Okay. I look forward to hearing from you. I look forward to possibly seeing you virtually here in our sessions. And as always. Always, if you have questions, comments, concerns, 502-457-2937. Send those out to me so that I can help.